First, an alarming Defenders investigation that will have all travelers on high alert. Hello, everyone, and thank you for staying with NBC Charlotte. I'm Fred Shropshire. And I'm Sarah French. We are weeks away from the start of the holiday travel season, and tonight our team learning that at least one passenger a week tries to bring a loaded gun on a plane at Charlotte Douglas Airport. Yeah, the TSA told us so far this year agents have found 62 guns at security checkpoints inside Charlotte Douglas. Compare that to 60 found in all of 2017. And in 2012, there were only 17 guns found the entire year. And it's not just Charlotte. A record number of firearms were found in 2017. The TSA says almost 4,000 guns were found in carry-on bags at checkpoints across the country. That's an average of almost 11 guns per day. Defender Nathan Morbido at Charlotte Douglas Airport tonight. Nathan, the TSA expanding its efforts to stop another airline threat. Fireworks, pretty much the biggest explosives TSA agents have ever found at the Charlotte Douglas International Airport, but they say it's only a matter of time until they find an actual bomb. A cane that doubles as a stun gun, a throwing star, knives, a loaded gun, and much more. If something can be used as a bludgeon, then you can't have it in the cabin. People actually tried to bring these weapons on airplanes flying out of Charlotte recently. Thankfully, TSA agents caught them all at security checkpoints. I've been doing it for 20 years. <laughs> um, You're a pro. I'm a pro. Is that good? While frequent flyers know what they can and cannot bring, others are either ignorant or have more sinister plans. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. At this point, we can't really, you know, prevent something from happening on our level of things. So Once a plane's in the air, it's basically too late. Or we have to be right every time. Those terrorists only have to be right one time. That's why Jason Brown takes his job so serious. The Air Force veteran is one of several TSA explosive specialists hired to work in Charlotte. His job, stopping the inevitable. It's not a question of if something's going to happen, it's a question of when something's going to happen. The TSA employee showed us what lengths terrorists will go to to get bombs on board in the post 9-11 world. There's a lot of threats that can be disguised as ordinary household items that can be something dangerous. These are training aids complete with hidden fake explosives. Examples of normal things you'd bring on a plane that easily hide deadly secrets. He told us the airports only had one scare in recent years. Fortunately, after agents took a closer look, they realized it wasn't a bomb. With TSA screening 30,000 people a day, agents hope their show and tell reminds you why they often take time to check the most mundane carry-outs. The ultimate goal of terrorists is still to attack the aviation system again. More than a decade ago, there was just one explosive specialist at this airport. Today, there are seven. Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. Nathan, thank you.